What is going on guys? This is Alex for Video Proc. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to record your screen using Video Proc because this is actually very, very handy for YouTubers, gamers, TikTokers, basically anybody that wants to record their screen and how to, let's say, if you want to create a lecture or something like that. If you guys are excited, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out any more of these tutorials. And I would say, let's get started right now. All right, we are on the website, videoproc.com. You can find also the link down in the description. When you click on there, you will land on this website where you can go and download it. It is very, very simple. So we're right here, we have one-stop video processing software, edit, convert, resize, and adjust large 4K slash HDR videos, audios and DVDs easily at fully accelerated speed. We also have right here a recorder and that's what we're gonna focus on today. So right now we're gonna click on the free download for Windows or Mac. All right, so skip forward to when you have completely installed it to your computer or your Mac. So right here we have four options, the video DVD, the downloader and the recorder. So right here we're going to click on the recorder button because this is actually very, very handy if you want to go ahead and record like gameplay or your favorite highlights, moments from your favorite sports. Here we have the screen button. So if you click on there, it's going to capture our entire screen. As you notice, if I move my mouse, it is also visible on the preview. We also have a webcam feature and also a screen plus a webcam that's very, very nice. If you have multiple monitors at the bottom you can choose which kind of monitor you want to pick I have two so I can just click on here if I want to capture my other one and then right here we also have a audio input so if you notice right here my default is my interface and that's because why I'm talking you can see these bars going up and when I'm quiet, of course, you don't see anything moving. Very, very nice. So you can also make sure that you will capture audio with your screen as well, directly from your sound card. So what's very cool is that you can also have a chroma key on your webcam. So let's say that you're sitting behind a green screen like I am right now. You can just remove it right here with this really, really simple method. If you click on remove webcam background, if you use your screen and a webcam at the same time. So right here we have this screen option. So if you go and also choose this crop button, you can you can choose a certain section right here. So then you can go and drag on your mouse. Let's say that you want to only capture this part of the screen. You can just go and drag it. And then if you let go of your mouse button right here, you can just click on here and then it will capture only this zone that you have selected. Very, very nice. So if you go back to the video prop recorder, as you notice, we only have the banner in the screen. So if I move up my mouse right here, right now it goes off the zone. Very, very straightforward. So right now, what we can also do is click on the screen button to reset what we have selected. And then right here we have the output folder and that means like where are you going to save your files? So if you want to use it in the C drive in the video proc folder, that's going to be on default. But if you want to save your files into a certain folder on an external hard drive, you just want to click on browse right here. And then it's going to prompt you this box and then you can basically choose any kind of folder that you want to use. Then you can choose if you want to have your gameplay or your screen recapture or screen just like this. And then you can also position your webcam and it's very, very straightforward how to do it. So then if you're all set, and you're ready to record you want to hit record right here and now the box automatically disappears and now you can for example start gaming you can start the gameplay if you want to go and record you know something in like a tv show for something to watch later again if you want to stop the recording it is very very simple you just go back to video proc and then you want to click on stop recording right here and you can also see the resolution right here so this is what we have made we can also delete it right here if you want to do a retake or you can just open up the folder where it is located and then as you notice right here we have this box and if I click on it this is what it looks like very nice it is really really smoothly playing now it's also very nice that you can edit your videos that you just recorded also in this software because let's say they want to capture a you know a gameplay or something like that but you want to cut off the part where you are you know putting on the record button and then if you drag this it's all going to be recorded on your screen and that's where you can go and click on a video tab right here in the main menu then you want to hit on a video right here we have a lot of options such as adding effects a watermark and then you want to click on cut in order to cut out where you like stop the recording and drag the window out of the screen to make space for your gameplay or something like that so we're going to click on cut and right here let's pause it for a second you can just go ahead and trim it so at the very end you can see that the video proc icon is also popping up right here is the window so let's say that we're going to drag it until where it starts 
that is around here, just one or two frames before the window comes into the screen. Then we're gonna hit cut right here, and then we will actually have a new clip that we just made, but without that part, so we don't have to go ahead and do a lot of complex editing afterwards. All right, guys, so as you clearly can see, we now have also the webcam in there, and then you have your screen capture, so you can make this a lot bigger if you want to. You can also remove the background, as you notice right here, if I uncheck it. I'm just basically behind the green screen, and that's where you can go and use the chroma key as well. It is very, very cool and then you can just shrink both of them to your wanted size so if you want to have your face cam on top you want to click on record screen while showing face cam and as you notice right here if i make myself a little bit smaller of course it is not cut out right here at the very top because if i just move my camera a little bit upwards it is just that easy my camera is just a little bit too close to my face and you know the, the webcam itself this is also how you can record tutorials for youtube if you want to use for example a windows you know screen or a vague screen full screen this is how you can also you know save the whole part Part of getting out the background in your video editing software because you can just do it really really easy in a video proc itself all right guys so right here we have only the webcam so let's go ahead and hit record right here so we just have a webcam file that we can also go ahead and you know cut and add filters and render out as well so let's go ahead and click on stop because we only just need a few seconds so let's go back to the main menu we're gonna hit video right here we're gonna click on the add video button then we're gonna pick our webcam file all right guys so right here as you notice we have all kinds of effects so if you click on on here it is very nice you can make it black and white as well this is of course on the right or preview all right guys so right here on the right we have our final end result and on the left just how it is usually recorded so if you click on certain files or certain filters this is basically what it looks like <laughs> this preview is actually <laughs> pretty funny let's go ahead and uh, pick another one you can also rotate the video completely how you want to have it if you want to flip it vertically like that or horizontally it is very very nice we have subtitles cut we can crop and also just add in our water mark as well so let's say that we only want to have a part of the video we're going to click on here and select it out with this color grading we're going to hit on cut and then right here it is very easy if you click on edit you just want to go and do that and also just see how much time you want to add or remove and if you're done you click on done right here so once you're finished and you're ready to export we're going to click on the options button right here where we can choose our desired format so you can click on encoder processing decoder and we can also just pick nvidia amd or intel in my case we have nvidia selected and then right here we have our targeted formats do you want to use mp4 do you want to use for iphones and ipads we have android mp4 as well with the HEVC instead of the H.264 and the 4K option even, but I would just pick the standard MP4 H264. This is how you use the recorder for your entire screen, how to add in a picture and picture effect if you want to use this overlay with yourself in the screen, and also just how to edit your files from your screen recording, edit the files and color grade and you know all of that using your webcam files as well. At the bottom we have our audio settings that you can go ahead and adjust and make sure everything is perfect and that's basically how simple it is. All the info to get started on this is in the description down below. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. This is how to record your screen using video proc it is very very simple if you want to follow us make sure to check out the link down in the description to go to the website and check it out also subscribe to this youtube channel so you won't miss out any future uploads and we will see you in the next video